Hello there and welcome back. In this quick tip video I'm going to show you how to create this X-ray type of shader in Maya and Arnold using basic Arnold nodes. This is the geometry which was pretty easy to model, just a smoothed cube, delete half of it, extrude it down and add some divisions. The entire lighting is just an area light with some exposure. I am using the Arnold subdiv script we created before in this channel to set render time subdivisions on multiple objects. I also have a render camera which is set to water graphic. And finally an image plane that will act as our background with a circular black ramp. If I do a render this is where we start with the default Lambert assigned. One thing we need to do before starting on shading is to have some sort of UVs on the shapes, since we will be using some circular ramps patterns. So just copy the rotation value, set it to 0, apply a basic camera planner mapping on the shapes and then paste back the rotation value. And do it for all the shapes. Let's assign a standard surface to the first letter. Then create a ramp and facing ratio Arnold nodes and do the default connections. Finally, assign it to the base color of the shader. Let's just remove the specular. Set the ramp to custom since we are using the facing ratio as an input. Now you want to adjust the facing ratio values, but before that let's invert the ramp colors. Finally add some transmission and to remove the refraction effect set the IOR value to 1. For the other letters duplicate the shading network and apply the new material. Now in the ramp you want to connect a new ramp to the first color. and set it to circular. We also need a UV transform node to repeat the ramp a few times. For that let's first remove the interpolation of the new ramp, set it to none. In the repeat of the UV transform, repeat the texture a few times, we need to make sure the texture has the correct ratio. I found that a value of 10 and 35 was giving me the closest result. Once we have the correct ratio, we want to repeat it a few times. So for that we will use a simple expression and multiply the current values by 6. You can pick whatever value you feel looks better. I am also increasing a bit the transmission for the second shader. We will need a higher resolution render to see the effect, so just increase the test resolution. And now we can see the result which is exactly what I was looking for. Let's just increase the AA samples and do a final render. And this is it, the final result. The original design is by the great designer Andrew Futit. I wanted to recreate it in Maya and Arnold. I hope you have learned something new and let me know if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.